I'd like to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year and 84% of everybody who watches these videos is not subscribed. So if you do enjoy today's video or any of the ones you might've seen here in the past, please consider subscribing and thank you so much for watching. All right, so I played a few more online matches and I saved three of them. I actually won one for once. Uh, it wasn't pretty, but a win's a win. And we're gonna take a look at that set right here. I think I played about nine games with uh, this person. They, they joined my lobby through Concerto. I don't really like posting my IP in the uh, Discord matchmaking thing, but I'll connect to somebody if I have to. Otherwise, I just use Concerto lobbies and then somebody joins eventually and you just play them. Uh, and I feel like that's a safer way to play <laughs> as well as uh, I just like the lobby system better. Uh, I, the, what continues to elude me about this game is how the neutral works and mostly the vertical aspect of it, right? Like playing in the air and jumping around because every replay that I watch, there's a lot of air movement, but I can't figure out when I'm supposed to be jumping and when I'm supposed to be like pressing a button in the air, you know? Yeah, I, I'm trying to come up with like some general rules for myself about being in the air because coming from Street Fighter, the general rules of neutral that I'm used to is like, don't jump too much because you'll get hand <laughs> tired. And like, just look at your opponent's movements, right? And uh, and and react to that. And in this game, you one of those things you have to do, right? You have to jump a lot more. So that's been taking some getting used to. I also get counter hit in the air a lot, and that really screws me up because they can convert off of it pretty easily. I put against, I, I think I'm putting against like two or three Kohakus now. I guess people are getting ready for the next game. They want to play the maids. Uh, but this this character seems kind of hard for me to play against. She has a lot of long range things. And also the plant, you'll see me like um, in the corner against the plant. I think there's there's one time where I, I activated heat because I thought the plant would push push off of me. Like I thought I could push her and the plant away, but I didn't. And the plant just hits me in the corner and she runs back in. Also, I'm not doing anything optimal here, right? I'm doing like, uh, I'm, I think I'm doing the full moon Alco combo still, right? So I'm doing uh, 2C. The, the basic ground loop into uh, like BC, BC air throw and it's not working because you can't do that on uh, on this character. At least not in the same way that you can on Alco. You see right there, I did 3C. I did 3C and I was about, uh, if he launched, I was just gonna jump, jump cancel into like BC or something. Her little dash through right there too is really cool. The, the fact that Arcoid can just dash through the opponent and get on the other side of them. I do a little bit of delay strings there. Not the right delay string either. I'm mostly concerned with my movement, I think, in, in this particular set because it feels still feels very foreign to me. Especially being in the air so much. I'm trying to figure out uh, when to press and, and when to jump, really. Her plant setup kind of reminds me of Ramlethal Sword in, in Strive, um, where she sets it and then you can jump out or run out before it explodes. That's what I was trying to do against the plant a lot. And I kept getting caught in the air, I think. I think this game goes the distance. It goes all three rounds. The first few games, he completely, like, destroyed me. There, I get the counter hit. I get the air counter hit. Don't convert off of it, unfortunately. Lots of stray buttons here. Not really doing strings like I've been practicing. Here, I get one. I do, uh, that was the A version of the elbow because he blocked it. So, I wanted to do that version to stay safe, and it, it happened to hit it. I did 3C there for some reason instead of doing like 5C, 5C to, to get the homing dash. There I get the... See, that, that's what I was talking about. I did... I'm doing 3C again and I'm trying to do jump cancel BC. It just doesn't work. It's because I, I have Alco in my head still. I'm trying to get used to playing this character now. As well as just remembering what combo to do or what string to do. That move screwed me up so many times when I was trying to jump. the Her air slash thing. Sometimes I was able to predict like whenever he was going to use it though because he, he saw me jumping a lot so he was using it a lot. So sometimes I, I think I neutral jumped once and he did it or like he went into that stance to swing the sword and uh, I just ran at him. <laughs> Here's the second game. That's the only game I won by the way is that first one that we watched. Some of them were kind of close. Um, but overall I think it was probably my best showing so far. <laughs> Which is not very, you know, not very high standard yet. There I do the 3C into the BC and it's just not the combo I should do. Uh, but it's what I'm used to, so that's what I defaulted to in a in a panic there. 
Here, I'm trying to get in. There's the air slash again, right? So I saw him do it, so I jumped in. I don't know if, if you have time to jump in when he recovers. Maybe I should have air dashed him. See, I'm, I'm trying to get in the air a lot more to get used to it, but I'm getting knocked out of it. And there I waste the heat activation because I, I think... I guess you're supposed to use that like a burst since it kind of like pushes them off of you. But I just activate. I just did raw activate for some reason. That plant really screwed me over. There's a, the other plant that she does too. The super one, the cactus where he punches a bunch of times. That one really screwed me up. This one right there. I don't know what the hell that was. I, I don't know why she got in a dress and flew across the screen. But the cactus there, you, you might see it again. He, he whiffed throw and I tried to press and I just got hit. Oh man, anti air. He caught me on the way up. There's no um, <clears throat> replay controls, so we just gotta watch the whole thing through. <laughs> There's a cactus, man. That thing messes me up. I guess she gets okay. Like, she knocks me down and sets that up. That's, like, the, the deal. And there, I, I can't tell when it's going to drill upwards like that or when it's going to start swinging in a circle or uh, what other follow-ups it has. I don't know what other follow-ups it even has. If you see me get random EX guards, it's because I'm mashing, like, down back to try and get that. <laughs> There's this cactus again. This thing screwed me up. Look, it hit me once. I flew across the screen. I tried to match with air-to-air -air there. I don't know what button to press in air-to-air. -air. I'm guessing jump B. I'm guessing jump C is the slowest. I did the charge 5B there. I think that's an overhead because he kept blocking it overhead and uh, it looks like one. He, I kept getting caught by that too. He would set the plant and then just start uh, key charging to like get meter. And I didn't know how to get over the plant to get to him. There, I think that's how you're supposed to use the heat activation. There, the cactus just fucks me up. And he charges like an entire meter, puts another cactus out. There's another cactus. <laughs> I just got screwed over completely by that, uh, whatever that super is. All right, so this is the last game here. Big trend I'm noticing is I'm focusing a lot on the air game and trying to like play neutral in the air because I'm not used to it. Uh, to the point where I'm forgetting like fundamental things on the floor, right? To fundamental things I need to do to win. I'm just whiffing a ton of buttons and hopes he like walks into them, right? I'm not even spacing them correctly. I'm, I'm just whiffing them and mashing basically. This round started off pretty strong. Uh, that super at the beginning I think was a mistake, but it worked out. And I, I'm starting to learn a little bit more about Kohaku, like how to play against her. She, she feels like... Not a, I don't want to say a zoner, but she has a lot further range than some of the other characters that I've played against. And this tree just continues to fuck me up every, <laughs> every time. I Especially that setup where he like puts it down and starts key charging behind it to get a ton of meter and then puts down another plant. That one really screws me up because I'm trying to get in over the plant, but I just can't. At least not fast enough. Also, I'm not using uh, her DP enough, right? I'm not using my character's DP enough. I know she has a really good one. The input is just kind of weird, and I forgot about it. It's like down, down, A, or, or something like that. Here, I don't know what happened. I lost right there. Like, I lost, but the characters are still standing here. I've watched this replay twice now, and it, it just does this until it times out. But I did lose that round right there. I don't know why it, the replay just stops right there, but I, he did beat the shit out of me. <laughs> he came back and won after my resounding start. I had, a, I had a great start to that round and I threw it away. There, I get air counter hit. That was a great pickup from him. I think he, I mean, I think he could have did a more optimal combo, but the fact that he was able to even pick it up there was really cool. I get hit by the upward tree. I, I can't really tell when I should be. Or, like, I can't really tell when it's gonna go up or when it's gonna, like, swing in a circle or whatever. There he resets pressure by dashing up and then tries to stick the cactus in me, but <laughs> I just jumped over it. Arcoid, I, I love that little hop through that she can do where you just hop through them and you're on the other side. Because a lot of people haven't been reacting to it. At least not this guy. I get hit by on the other side by the cactus. So I tried to jump over him and the cactus hit me on the other side even though he was swinging 
in front of him. That was just one of the games where he kind of beat the shit out of me. Um, but what we did learn today is that we have to remember, even though the air aspect of neutral is important, you can't forget about the ground in neutral and the fundamentals there, as well as just not whiffing buttons all the time and basically brushing up on my combos that aren't like in the corner. You know, you have to know the mid screen and the combo and you have to be able to convert into it. Also, uh, converting off of uh, counter hits in the air because that seems to be very important in this game and I got a ton of them that I just didn't convert off at all. But anyways, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, please consider subscribing and thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.